Hi, I'm Dave, founder of Halloween Year Round, and uh, with Comic-Con happening this week, we have a lot of awesome trailers. Uh, I just did a reaction with my fiance Jess to the new uh, season of Dexter New Blood, uh, link to that in the description. And finally, this one that I've been waiting for for so long, ever since I heard this project was happening, the new Chucky TV series over on Sci-Fi, which is uh, being created and, uh, and run by Don Mancini. So that's... You understand, Chucky, you know, he doesn't just hold my snacks. He's not just the husband to Tiffany or the father to Glenn or Glenda. Chucky is very personal to me. When I was a kid, I was terrified of Chucky. I saw in like a blockbuster the, the cover of, of Child's Play 2 when he's like decapitating uh, Jack in the Box. And it terrified me. So my childhood was me being scared of Chucky uh, I even had a uh, My Buddy doll that I thought looked like him, and I was afraid he was going to murder me in my sleep. So, eventually that fear turned into kind of like a fascination. Like, you know, as I got older, I got to be like, you know, 10 or 11, I started to get really interested in it. Like, oh, why, why, why did he scare me? What, you know, what was so intriguing about him? And eventually that led to me just going down the rabbit hole and becoming a full-fledged horror fan. So... I owe Chucky and Don Mancini my whole career and life and, and, and you know, fandom in horror. It, it wouldn't have happened without Chucky. So, given that this is a franchise I hold so near and dear, I was admittedly frustrated when they announced uh, the 2019 remake that Mancini or, or Brad Dourif, none of them were involved in whatsoever. They did it without their... Uh, their their consent. I mean, they they had the rights to the original, but it just felt kind of scummy to go and 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 do that, especially when 2017's Cult of Chucky ends on a cliffhanger meant to continue the story. So this TV series is meant to be that continuation. Uh, you know, I've been waiting for this since 2017, since I saw Cult of Chucky to see what happens next and. I'm just, I'm so happy to see, you know, Brad Dourif, Don Mancini, Jennifer Tilly, Fiona Dourif, uh, Alex Vincent, just, you know, all the, the, the players who were involved in the original franchise get to be involved in this. I, you know, I, I think it's, it's just so much fun and it's probably the thing, I know everyone this year is looking forward to Halloween Kills. I'm actually looking forward to this a little bit more just because I, I love Chucky. So uh, let's check out the trailer and let's see what uh, Chucky has in store. Everyone has a Halloween they'll always remember. For me, every Halloween. And this is Jake's. Oh, it's Chucky! Look, it's you. It's you. Jake, you into vintage? No, I'm into retro. Oh, what's the difference? About 10 bucks. <laughs> Fair enough. Hipsters. Look at that. Someone took the butcher knife. <laughs> I love that laugh. Hi. I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Jake, are you okay? I can't stand the sight of blood. Pussy. Is no one questioning him oh, bringing the doll no, to Jake, school? Jake, that isn't right. What happened to you, Jake? You used to have friends. Yeah, then you started bringing a doll Don't to school. boy toy. It's a little weird. Okay. It's contagious, isn't it? Laughing at people. Well, guess what, dickheads? Now the joke's <laughs> on you. Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. I love that it still looks what like an animatronic. Ah. Mommy says real killing is bad. Yeah, well, mommy's foolish. <laughs> Look around you. It's the World Series of Slaughter. Stop, stop. Did you feel that? 
everywhere Jake Wheeler goes, death seems to follow. So... Baby doll just creeps me the hell out. It's kill or be killed. Jake's the new, uh, Andy Barkley, I guess. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Chucky. He's gone. Dude, you have a serious doll problem. If you only knew. Hey, kid. I'm gonna go kill your sister. Wanna come? Are you sleepy? You snooze, you lose. Seemed kind of nonchalant about him uh, <laughs> killing her sister. I love that laugh. As much uh, as as much as I respect and and love Mark Hamill and and admired, you know, 2019. It's a good. It's a well made movie, but just. There is no Chucky, but but uh, Brad Dourif. No one can do that laugh. I can try to do that laugh. Want to hear that laugh? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can you can roast me in the comments for how uh, how terrible that was. I like how it it kind of feels like a, a, a quasi reboot in the sense that you know obviously they're making it so that people who are unfamiliar with the other movies who haven't seen them all can come into this fresh. So you start with this new character Jake who. Kind of seems like he's taking on the the Andy Barkley role, only he's a little bit older. Um, just based on Twitter, Jennifer Tilly's been posting a lot of pictures and 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 just tweeting a lot of stuff about how you know each episode is very different, has a very different directorial style. Uh, I do know that it's meant to continue the story from Cult of Chucky, so I didn't see that in here. I'm sure that you know they they kind of want it to 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 partially connect back but still be its own thing but it's just it's really refreshing to see look don mancini uh you know he he created the character he 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 wrote the script for every single one of the movies he's been directing them since uh i think bride of chucky on i'm not sure if you have to look to see if he directed the child's play three but you know uh in 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 a in a in a shutter uh panel last halloween he introduced himself as Chucky's agent, which I think is very, uh, very fitting. And the other thing, I love the Halloween aesthetic. You know, we've never actually seen Chucky on Halloween. You know, his his movies were never really holiday themed, but it's just it's kind of fun to see that dynamic. Uh, I wonder if he'll run into people dressed as any other iconic killers. And I'm curious to see, you know, Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky kind of went full comedy. Curse went back to the kind of more, you know, gritty, dramatic horror. Cult was a bit of both. Uh, I, I Chucky is best when he's terrifying, but he has a dark sense of humor. You know, in, in a lot of ways, uh, he's a lot like Freddy Krueger in that sense, in that he's a slasher who, who talks and uh, has a lot of jokes. So I'm very excited uh, for October 12th. I will be watching this. Uh, I will definitely be reviewing these uh, in some fashion. I haven't decided yet if it's going to be here on YouTube or written reviews on uh, HalloweenYearRound.com. But uh, either way, I will cover this show, and it is the thing I am most looking forward to in 2021. It's just stuff's opening again, and we're getting more Chucky. And that is, more Chucky is always better than no Chucky. And more Brad Dourif Chucky is better than than Mark Hamill Chucky which again not a bad movie just it's not Chucky if it's not Brad Dourif and it's not Chucky if it's not being written by Don Mancini so I can't wait what do you guys think uh you know what do you think the show will be what do you hope to see in it uh let me know in the comments let's have a good discussion like share subscribe all the YouTube stuff and uh, until I see you again, remember, stay scared, and uh, every day is Halloween, especially if you're Chucky in this new series. <laughs>